Welcome back to Sooner Car Care. Why am I sitting on the floor? Well, it's to clean these beautiful perforated seats. Something a little bit different than cleaning the regular leather seat. So stick along with us while we cover that. Well, first things first, I'm sitting down because if you're comfortable, you're much more likely to do a better job. Now with perforated seats, you wanna start out by, just like anything else, get all the big loose debris out. So we're gonna start out with a quick vacuum. Now you notice on this vacuum actually, quick tip, I have some painter's tape wrapped around there. That's so if there's any kind of sharp edges on this plastic nozzle, it's not gonna be scratching the leather when I'm going across with it. So give that a try. Right, so many of the cars nowadays will have these perforated seats for either the air conditioned seats or a heated seat. So if that is the case, what we suggest is turn on the heated seats first, get these nice and pliable so that's most likely to accept the um, conditioners or the cleaners and it'll probably make it a little bit easier to do the job. When I'm cleaning perforated seats, I, use, I like to use a foaming all purpose cleaner like Trim Clean because that way the foam doesn't, it has a harder time getting down into those perforations. We're not trying to get any kind of liquid down in, we're just trying to keep it on the surface, clean that and remove it. So let's give that a try. I would usually use a brush as well. I'll put a little bit on here. If you have a lighter color interior, I've had a lot of success getting those clean with a melanine sponge like this. So let's give that a try. Just using that in conjunction with our trim clean here. And again, that foaming action is gonna put a lot less fluid onto the surface. So you're a lot less likely to have it go down inside those perforated holes. I'm just gonna start off with this small spot here. As you get more advanced, you can obviously do larger areas at once. So this seat had a car seat sitting on top of it, so it needed a little bit of extra attention. So that's why we started with the all-purpose cleaner first. But if you didn't need that, that much uh, attention on cleaning it, you can just use like a 3-in-1 product like Sooner's Leather Cleaner. This will clean, protect, and condition it all in one step. So it'll be saving you a couple steps and a little bit of time. For that, you can either spray it right on the leather if it's not perforated, but if you're working with perforated seats like over here, you'd spray it on the towel first. And then you're just gonna wipe it over top of the surfaces. So there's that, going right over to this one. And you just kinda wanna work that into the seat best you can. So if you gotta do like little circles or back and forth, whatever you can do to really get that conditioner down in all of the nooks and crannies. And this will give it a nice UV protection and it will replenish a lot of those oils that this leather needs to stay healthy, especially in the hot summer days when there's experiencing some extreme temperatures in here. So after you got a good, nice layer of that conditioner on there, if you'd like for like a less of a shine to it, you can always go back with like a dry side of that towel Swipe over it, cut down the shine quite a bit, make it more of a matte look to level out all that conditioner. So when you got to this point and you completed the treatment, if you're, at, if you're worried at all about any kind of moisture getting down into those holes, if you weren't sure about it, just start your car back up, turn on the heated seats, turn on the air conditioned seats, just get some temperature changes going through there and it should take care of any of the moisture issues that you would have. Or if there's a lot of moisture, you can even take a vacuum, go over top of the holes, make sure it's sucking out any kind of excess, and then going right to that heated seat option. So give that a try. Can you zoom in down right over here? You see on the side of these holes, there's actually nothing in the hole, but on the side of the leather where each hole is cut out, you see there still has some remnants of whatever residue was still there. If you have that kind of situation, we put a little bit of the foaming all-purpose cleaner on it and we'll kind of come in at it from an angle. Maybe do some circles. You want to try to hit it from all different angles here. Do the best you can to try and cover all the sides of each perforated hole. And just wipe her down. Now that we've got the heaviest grime out of the perforated parts of the seat, we're going to clean, condition, and protect it all in one step with just Sonos Leather Cleaner. Spread it on a different towel than we used to clean. And wipe it in there, work it in. So some leathers will be a little bit more thirsty than others. See where it has like the most wear to that seat and maybe you're gonna go back over that with another coat just to make sure that it gets it really into all the heaviest wear parts of the seat. Cause you wanna try and prevent the leather from wearing out and cracking or making marks like this one has already. You wanna try and keep it all nice and smooth like it is on the outside there. If you've been following along, hopefully now your perforated leather looks better than ever. Thanks for joining us, we'll see you in the next one.